Hi, yeah, yeah, dude. I just freaking like recorded for almost two minutes straight into camera only to have it fall asleep because it hadn't hit record. So now I'm like a little nervous. I'm looking over here at the screen. There's a red dot. I see time rolling. I'm good to go. Um, what I was trying to say, and now I'm gonna kind of make it really quick, is I came out here to go to the park just to kind of get away for a few moments. I made myself a coffee. I was gonna do the whole like AeroPress thing, do all that jazz, but then I'd spend like 20 minutes even though I'm wasting time with beginning to hit record. But I was gonna do all that stuff and everything, but instead I just brought myself a little Americano from home and my little mason cup thingity thing because I can't find any of my freaking coffee mugs right now. I can't find my two Canon lens, lens cups. I think they're in my wife's car. And my keep cup, unfortunately, shattered like a couple weeks back, which was so sad because I freaking love that thing. I'll get another one. But what I was saying when I came out here was um, I just finished wrapping up the Instagram stories edit trailer thing for Americana Mondays 23, last week's video. But yeah, it's interesting. I, I'm kind of, I'm trying to watch where the future is going with social, with Instagram, with everything. And vertical is a huge crazy thing and it's new to me as someone who's been filming like this more in you know, 16 by nine, not nine by 16 forever. And I'm trying to be aware of it. I'm trying to be cognitive of it. Um, and yeah, I have some ideas for Instagram that I think are going to be really cool. It kind of sucks because again, I have to be very cognitive of time and my lack thereof, basically. I have very little time and I also need to be very cognitive of where my focus is. And I can only focus on so many things at once. And so yeah, it's interesting. We'll see where this goes. But I'm excited. I'm really focusing on the book right now. I feel really freaking good about it right now. Even though there's so many unknowns, so many variables, but like I'm freaking living in that world. I'm okay with variables. I'm a freelance photographer living in a world where everything changes by the day with our industry. Okay, I'm rambling now. It's crazy, bye. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to say, the reason I came out here to Griffith Park, not only to kind of film a little bit here was, I wanted to post the Instagram stories and I thought it'd be kind of cool to record it and everything. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's go. cutting back in my dairy intake. I've always had acid reflux and I drank a lot of coffee. Those aren't good combinations, but uh, actually, funny story, a doctor once told me that I need to cut back on coffee and chocolate. And I'm like, um, okay, let me just be honest with you, dude. I'm telling this to a doctor. I said, let's put it this way, man. I don't drink much at all. I don't smoke and I don't do drugs. I will not be giving up coffee. What are you gonna say for yourself today? I'm homesick. That's right. This little girl is homesick today. She got uh, a fever around two days ago, so we had to keep her home from daycare. Today, hopefully it's the last day. She's doing a lot better today. So, we're about to go on a coffee date to, if I can find it, Maru, and then we're gonna go to the store. Tell them what store we're going to. We're going to Baby R Us, and I want to get a present because they've been good. How's your mac and cheese so far? How would you rate it? Would you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? What? No, no thumbs down. That's not good. That's not good. after this but when it is swing by I've never really over here too often even though it's not too far from where we live so we swung by to say yo no. grab some coffee but we don't have to drive and we could walk that's 
right, maybe if it's closed, moving on. Maybe if it's open, we will. Who knows? We're talking about going to the library afterwards. Gotta get our freaking read on. You know what I'm talking about. Saturday morning and I just got back from my run. It's still a little early. Wife and kids are still asleep so I'm kind of talking a little low but just kind of wanted to do a quick follow-up on the week. It was a good week yet a very unproductive week at the same time. Unfortunately my daughter got sick this week which I think I talked about earlier. Um, so she's been out of daycare since Tuesday afternoon when we had to pick her up early. So that always kind of sucks because you have a lot planned, you have a lot that you need to get done, and then everything gets put on pause. Even though I didn't get any work done, I have to look at it in the positive that I got to spend the day with my daughter. We went to coffee shops, we did a lot of stuff, and um, she was off and on. She just had a really high fever all week. Finally, yesterday, we took her to the doctor just to get checked out. Um, so again, another full day gone with that. Um, thankfully, everything's good. All the tests were, came back good. She just basically has a fever that she needs to get over, so. Hopefully that's happening. Um, but yeah, so that said, you don't get anything done in weeks like this because you are with your daughter, you're taking care of your child. And But I guess the way that I have to look at it and the way that I know that I should look at it is a blessing that I get to be there, that I have a profession, have a career that allows me to be with my daughter and allows me to take that day off and do that. Yeah, I got a lot of freaking work to do, but my main job is to be a father and to raise my children and to be there for my children, to be there for my wife, and to keep this like on the freaking real and to keep this really legit about this whole process with the book and with sponsorship and everything. Um, yeah, I haven't heard anything back from the sponsor that I submitted the proposal to last Friday. Um, I said I sent a follow up email to them on Wednesday. Never heard anything back. Of course, in a dream world, they respond to you the next day and they're like, "Oh my God, we love this and we want to work with you." And what do you need? Um, but of course, I know I live in reality as well. The way that I look at it is I now have a blueprint. I now have a, a structure and a format in this sponsorship proposal, in this breakdown that I can kind of tweak and change per person, per project. I have to look at it in the positive that, yes, I would love to work with this brand. And yes, I do hope that a brand does end up eventually partnering with me on the book but honestly if not it's cool I mean like yeah I freaking love it but no matter what I'm gonna make this book happen no matter what I'm gonna do this if it's with somebody cool if it's not cool I'm gonna freaking make it happen I'm not gonna let that be the deciding factor so yeah we'll see so yeah that's a little bit of keeping it real like I hope they respond thank you very much everybody Thanks for kind of coming along out of my week with me and my daughter chilling the other day on my run, everything like that. So kind of showing a little bit more, I guess, of my life than just like me talking to camera other than that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So, all right, peace out. Have a good week. I'll see you on the next one. One last thing. I thought I'd share my current post-run treat to myself that I've been digging on so much. Piece of bread toasted with homemade almond butter, diced bananas, raw honey, and cinnamon. Now that's what I'm talking about. Have that with some coffee? Yes.